Hey, welcome back students. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the pH or the pOH using a concentration that's given to you. So let's begin with the general equations. The equations that we're going to use for this particular section is going to, are going to be the following. So if we're trying to find the pH, pH would be equal to the following. pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And if we're trying to find the pOH, the pOH is going to be equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. Now what, the, what we're operating here is that we already have a concentration given to us and then all, it's just up to us then to plug this information into the equation and then solve for the uh, either the pH or the pOH. So let's go ahead and do an example. What if we were given a concentration of Let's say that you had a hydrogen ion concentration equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 3. Now by looking at this, if we look at this, we, we could already get an estimation as to what this, this uh, pH is going to be just by looking at the exponent. But in case we didn't, what we would do here is we would then use the equation. We would use pH is equal to the negative log. And then we're going to take the negative log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion, which in this case is given to us. 1 times 10 to the negative 3. And if we do that, we're going to find that the actual answer here is going to be 3. So our pH would be 3. Okay? And so let's do another one over here on the right-hand side. Let's say that we had another problem. Let's say in this case, we were given a hydroxide ion concentration of the following number. 1 times 10 to the negative 11. And we are asked, what is the pOH? Well, if we're doing the pOH in this case, we would take the negative log of the hydroxide concentration, in this case, 1 times 10 to the negative 11. If you plug that in directly into the calculator, negative, then log, and then enter the number, what you're going to wind up finding is that the pOH is going to be equal to 11. And so here you are. I do want to point one thing out though. As you're looking at these problems, and I kind of did this purposely to kind of prove the point here, but if you look at the pOH and the pH, if you add these two together, these numbers should equal to 14. And so essentially what I'm saying is the following. So if I have a pH and I add that to my pOH, I should get the number 14. And in fact, if you look here closely, 3 plus 11 will give you 14. So if I substitute these values up top here just to uh, show you visually, my pH here was calculated to be 3, my pOH in this particular problem was 11, and if I add those two together, they should equal to 14, and in fact, they do. And that's exactly what we're looking for in these types of problems. Now this works when you're doing the pOH, it also works when you're doing the concentrations. So in the next video, I'll show you how that works as well.